are alive. I'm going to just check tags on Twitch before SG pops and goes, Hey, guys, you left the tags wrong. Oh, no, actually, it looks fine. Phew. Okay, good. Glad we got that settled. So, something about the ad with the Velveeta mac and cheese and the ice cream cone always feels very off-putting to me. Well, that's a weird flavor combination. <laughs> yeah. Velveeta is absolutely one of those I'll have it in a pinch sort of cheeses for me. Yeah. Like, for a while there, that was just all American cheese in general, but American cheese is good for melts, so whatevs. But, yeah, Velveeta isn't... I, I do not seek it out or nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, we've actually made pretty decent headway so far on, on this. It's less than it looks like because I don't think it counts the bonus levels, but... Ah. But, yeah. some of these windows. You, I just realized you're one of those filed two players. <laughs> I missed the first mm -hmm. stream of this. How are you liking the game? Uh, it's good. Quite good. Uh, we like, we like uh, the DLC a lot more than the base game. Uh, we feel it's a lot better on um, you can utilize a lot more combos between the characters, and I feel like the level design uh, plays into that a lot more. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, I don't know that I've gone into my full st story of my relationship with strategy games, but just um, without super diving into that, um, it it's very fun for me to... Uh, I I'm really having a lot of fun with the process of thinking through... Um, uh, thinking through the, a lot of the flow of how maps are going to go uh, are going to go from the onset, um, and I really feel like the, the three units you have of DK, Rabbit Cranky, Rabbit Peach, uh, are really interesting uh, pieces of the puzzle to try and figure out. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's what you've been saying this whole time, but just that they have such different roles lends itself to very lends itself to the start of uh, strategies, but it, where it goes from there, a lot of the fun is is logically figuring out the pieces once uh, after initial contact and uh, trying to bring everyone back together or, uh, or whatever the case may be in order to continue maximizing uh, the effectiveness of the units. So having a specific set of party members means you can plan around their abilities. Yeah, I think that the um, maps do a lot, a lot better in that sense because I feel the base game has a problem of just every character ends up feeling kind of the same, and they all, uh, unless they're bouncing off someone um, or using a buff or healing them then they kind of just go off and do their own thing and kill enemies one at a time. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it is always super, super interesting in this game um, bringing, um, uh, when you have the units right next to each other, bouncing off each other, or whatever the case may be. Even in the core game, um, it, it's... Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like... I, 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 think it, I think it's a base that works pretty well, but they never really expand on the movement much. Yeah, it's fair. I, I think this does a much better job of making the three characters feel very different from each other and therefore requiring different strategies mm -hmm. with all of them. I tend to just stick to Luigi, Rabbit Luigi, Rabbit Mario throughout all my playthroughs. Uh, 
so... Well, now I'm trying to think. We didn't, uh, since we just did what was necessary to get to this, I didn't actually get to see Rabid Mario in play. Uh, Rabid Mario's, like, a close-range kind of guy. Oh, melee. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose uh, that's a fairly solid compliment to Luigi, then, of course. Uh, and then Rabid Luigi is uh, more defensive unit, um, support unit. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna give us anything uh, any of these guys until uh, uh we clear out the main campaign here. Let's see, when last we left off, as a change of pace, we did not um, do everything up until the area boss. Um, we actually have puzzles to do. Indeed. And then I'm guessing the area boss right away. <laughs> but hey. Oh, we haven't been over there. <sighs> uh, I probably have to loop around to that. Uh, that seems like progress. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. That seems deceptively straightforward. Oh, this is an interesting gimmick. So, it's so most of the pieces are put together to get to the chest, except I need to hit that switch. But in order to hit that switch, I need to hit the sun switch. In order to hit the sun switch, I probably have to hit some other switch and ruin the perfect little thing we've got going there with uh, that with this bridge. Mm -hmm. Dastardly. <laughs> All right, where do you go? That's down, down. Oh, there's a jiggy there. star there. Oh, but I'll want to move that. Interesting. So I hit sun. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. And then I hit... I hit a uh, cloud. It's definitely not a splotch, it's definitely a cloud. Um, go over here. Uh, I hit you. I hit you. I've completely undone that bridge, so I feel like I've accomplished something. You. And you. So we get here. Cool. Now I just reverse engineer everything I've done. Cloud. No, I need to hit sun. So you go there. Ah, oh, come on. Jerk. Alright, cool. You got a thingy. I do like my thingies. Is there a th something to look at? 
Nah, it's just uh, Storm Blair. Well. Or... You didn't really explore the bottom too well, but... Eh, I'll give it another once over. Just making sure there aren't any whimsical descriptions of thingies. <laughs> Very important. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It's just for the puzzle piece. <laughs> Alright, we move on. My current record at Checkers is uh, 456 to 1. My only loss was to a Tronic O uh, 800XL Smart Toaster, if you can believe it. The only guy who actually gets checkers is not having a good time there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Great. The gangway is completely inaccessible. Even if we could reach it, it's covered in vines. They obviously don't care much about lawn maintenance around here. I suspect this all has to do with these strange carvings on the ground. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I do always like um, pipe puzzles. Okay, so... Where do they come from? Well, obviously... Where do they go? Where do they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Alright. Pipesles. <laughs> Pipesles indeed. Okay, so that's one. Oh, so that's the play for this. Okay. sure I'm accomplishing what we want to accomplish here? Oh, I see. No. Okay, so I don't want it to flow there. I actually want to be cutting it off from those streams. I will say the main game had a lot of block pushing puzzles, so I'm glad this is not block pushing. Yes, definitely. I mean, block pushing I, I is feel fun, like they did a lot. can't overdo it. I feel like they did a lot more uh, variation and this for sure okay so I actually want to rotate this I do it that like that That's no good. No, no, no. Don't be like that. Oh. Is, is that it? Oh no, there's a little more. Good. like that then how do I get here or I need to, so I need to get here um, water only ever flows downhill so I need that to pass from there or wait yeah so that's not gonna go up so that can't be um, so I need water to come down from there 
In order to come down from there, this is gonna have to pass from over here. Oh, I think that's it. Uh, that is not it. Rumors not quite. to that being it have been greatly exaggerated. Life lesson, water and crap both flow downhill. Word. Indeed. In fact, I think most things flow downhill. Maybe not mountain climbers. Flow is an interesting word to use uh, in reference to mountain climbers. <laughs> Regonomics. <laughs> okay, so those don't play nice, so that and that. mountain climbers have their own funky flow. <laughs> Alright, so there's one. Oh, oh, this might be it. There we go. Nice. Well, hello. What do we have here? But yeah, I guess flow would probably be an accurate term for certain of them, certain ones, because, um, like Mount Everest has lines at, at, when you're climbing it because there's so many people that want to climb it now. I suppose. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh, and five. Okay, so you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Alright, bonus stage. You said it. This is interesting. Okay, so now I can go over here. And with that switch lifted, I can now push you. No, no. Go up! Go up, go up, go up, go up! No! I'm right there! I'm there! I'm there! No! Ah! Crap! Do, 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 do. Embarrassing. Alright, let's do it again, but better. Okay. But honestly, these bonus areas were there we go. a really cool thing to have, just because after Returns and Tropical Freeze both had pretty mediocre bonus levels, just seeing things that are on the same level as the classic bonus levels was a really welcome change. Absolutely. Even if it, even if it wasn't in a main DK game. 
Absolutely. Let's see. The gold-plated paroxysm. Rabbit Cranky invested his entire retirement savings into the gold-plated barrel market after taking a bath on jade pomegranates. Okay. Hmm. Somehow I overlooked that. All right. Oh, boss stage. Okay. Let's see what to invest in. Um, this is attack range for the primary weapon. Uh, Well, what's been holding me back? Movement is always useful. Um, I don't know that I've had a whole lot of issue with wanting to spam Magnet Groove, so I don't think I need that. Hairy Eye is always useful to buff. Um, high Ground I just haven't gotten a ton of use out of, but maybe I should be. Cover damage, eh. Range on the uh, Banana Rang, or Banana Rang is always useful. I've maxed those out already. Uh, what do I think? Maybe, um... Let's just buff standard movement for now. Okay. For Rabid Peach... Could bust... I... Hmm. Buffing her uh, slide tackles would be useful. Uh, team Jump... I don't team jump with her a whole lot. It's, she's not as important as Rabid Cranky in that respect. Yeah. High ground, cover, weapon range, all generally useful. Heal range, uh, heal range is probably the best bet. You have been really close to the heal range sometimes, so. Yeah, okay. And then Rabid Cranky... That's always useful. Nah, meh. Can be useful. Always useful. Hitting more people with long story might be useful. I sort of think... <laughs> oh, I forgot I made him speedy. Um, I sort of think maybe I should uh, wait for now, or... What would I use it on? The only thing is the boss is next, so... True. Uh, I maybe... think Rabid Cranky might be my favorite of the three in terms of yeah, abilities. It's definitely DK for me, but Rabid Cranky's got a cool set, too. Uh, yeah, DK just throwing stuff everywhere is, uh, is simple but fun. Um, but Rabid Cranky... I, I, I... In terms of offense, I think uh, Rabid Cranky is more interesting um oh i don't i disagree with that because uh the throw mechanic is so varied it makes dk super great for offense like you can you have so many different options for what you want to throw at some something else for dk true um i th but I also think I'm more surprised by uh, how much utility I get out of the uh, crossbow. Um, just because it has crazy range and the, the spread on that is off uh, is often very, very useful. Um, now, a little awkward in situations, but very useful. I, 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 I am not denying that it's good in terms of usefulness. I'm, I would just say that DK is definitely my favorite because of how varied he is. That's fair. Uh, I am going to upgrade this right away because if it's good against bosses, that is good.
Throw is also disgustingly good. By abilities, I just mean what they can do and not just the specials. Hmm. So, like, uh, so, like, you mean, uh, movement stuff as well? I think, it, I think we're good with everything else. I feel like DK is really the centerpiece that makes the other two characters work, whereas... Although Cranky is a really good choice to work with DK, and Rabbit Peach is a pretty good choice to work with DK, um, I think that you could potentially have other good choices. That's fair. Um, I would agree that DK is absolutely the cornerstone of um, uh, of uh, the level design here. Just his movement options, at, for, at the very least, are um, way above what everyone else uh, can do. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what we got. He can't end of level him. I love that that's directly from Returns and <laughs> Tropical Freeze. Rabbit Kong! Bigger! Stronger! Dumber? <laughs> These giant apes and women that are way too small for them. Don't 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 think about it too much. <laughs> DK is the rock. I was going to say the rock in which keeps the ship afloat, but that's not how rocks work. <laughs> <laughs> Generally not. <laughs> Alright. Tea and tea barrels. Interesting. Launch it wisely. Crap ton of damage, though. I'm definitely going to want to make use of that. Uh, the mega bug pool. I need to destroy the pool. Interesting. It... So, I'm guessing... Well, actually, this should say. Yeah, it doesn't say. But I'm guessing the uh, Mega Bug Pool is going to constantly heal uh, Mega Rabbit Kong. So I'm going to want to damage that. Who else we got? We got a Tropical Zig. And another one. Oh, just the three of them. Actually, a pretty small arena, too. Um, mm hmm yeah, DK should have no trouble getting basically anywhere he wants. Yeah. The bad banana ring pushes. That's not great. Uh, he can move basically wherever the hell he wants. Uh, rabid uppercut. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He's he just... he can't move. He can't move on top of the higher ground. Is the only thing. True. Ah, crap. So this is a situation where uh, high ground advantage would have been useful. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so I'm basically going to want to hide like a little baby up top here. Um, now, with Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Cranky, they're not going to be able to move around a ton, so I'm going to want to be mindful of that. Uh, DK can just fly all the hell over. Um, so, I, 
really want to make use of these TNT barrels to just uh, drain the pool and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, so start by getting Rabbit Cranky up here, hide there, bomb the pool. Can I hit the pool? Yeah, should be able to hit the pool. Uh, Rabbit Peach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I probably can't pick up, um... Wait, can I pick him up? Hmm. I don't remember. I don't think so. But maybe. Interesting. We shall experiment with that. But... Okay, okay. Ah, no. I definitely can't pick him up. <laughs> Honestly, <Too> fair. <laughs> so, Rabid Cranky can ride, run there, and then uh, lob a... Uh... Well, do you want to have DK throw him first? Throw Rabid Cranky? Or, or do you want to have DK throw the TNT... I guess that would probably be better. Just so you can get the grump jump. Or you could have nice. Cranky jump off of Rabbit Peach, maybe. But then that wouldn't really keep him safe. Probably not. Yeah. The record, I also can't slide tackle him. Let's see. So the grump jumps range is just not enough uh, to bounce off of, uh, to bounce up here and uh, tag uh, Mega Rabbit Con. Alrighty. So not really worth doing that yet. Could be worth it pretty soon though. Mhm. Mm so we'll start real simple. Go up there. They're spaced out just enough that I can't tag multiple of them. I'm guessing that won't... That goes into the pool, but would that hurt the pool? Um, you can tell by looking at the the health meter. It would have a little piece of the... Oh, well, maybe not. Because if you look at him, it shows him how much health he would lose. But maybe not for that. Well, I think I think it'll only hit one of them because otherwise we would see. Well, no, yeah, because both health meters show up. It will hit both. Okay. Alright, but it does restore his health right away. But that's okay, we've at least uh we've at least established the baseline of what we're working with. Uh 
Uh, we'll keep long story in the pocket for the moment. And just making sure. He doesn't have any specific immunities, he's just really strong. Mm hmm. Stink Eye is probably worth using, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on that for the moment, but we'll come back to that in a sec. Let's see. Ah, rats. Can't actually go far enough to... Uh... But you can go in the pipe. Oh, pff, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dumb. I uh, can't jump across, but... Oh, I can use this pad. Okay. Yeah, so not enough range to go to that side of the map just yet, but that's at least a uh, starting point. So maybe what I do is I go in here, I grab this, and then lob that at... Uh, Why don't you grab the TNT? Oh, pff, duh. Jeez Louise, Khan. Definitely throw it in the pool. Alright, I have to get Rabid Peach out of there. Uh, no, I will put him over with, or put her over with, um, Cranky here. It's okay to double up. Wait, can I? Yes, that's fine. Feels a little funny throwing a flaming hot dog at a pool, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. It's just how this game works sometimes. I guess. Alright, Stink Eye is good, and. So, we'll do Stink Eye. You wanna use DKs also? Yeah, okay. And I think I should sit on Rabbit Peach for now. All right. Want to be judicious about her, uh, uh, the her cooldowns. So now he gets his um, danger eye on. Don't like freeze. Can you get Peach over there? Yeah, I think she'll take the uh, uh, villain eye, but 
that's all right. So I bounce there before anything else. Can I wait? Haha! -ha! Okay, so she would be okay to bounce over here. He might still be able to peg her with the uh, bad banana ring, but um, she'd have a free turn to just hop down here. And she'd have cover, too. Yep. So. Okay. So back here. Yeah, that's fine, because I just want to shoot the pool. No fire yet. There's the fire. No point in going for him, but important to whittle down on that. Bit by bit. Let's see. You want to see if you can get um, DK over there to throw that other TNT? Oh, yeah. Easy. I can... Can I do the full circuit? No, I, I still can't. But I can at least go here. Grab that. Uh, I guess hide there and then throw it. Okay. I suppose I can't... I wouldn't want to throw it at the washing machine anyway. Can't hit both. Uh, now it makes more sense to whittle down on the pool. At least I got a crit. Unfortunately, it's immune to being to running around on fire. Nah. Worth trying, at least. Stationary pool cannot run around on fire. Damn. I was actually really hoping to... Hello. Come on, don't be weird. I was actually hoping to... Uh try a uh, long story on that Ziggy, but that's okay. Uh... I want to save my heal for when I get close to Rabid Cranky, so we'll leave that be for now. Shield might be worth using. Yeah, okay. And we'll save Magnet Grove. Ooh, don't like uh, new guys spawning. Ah, come off. Uh. Oh boy. Well, that was quick. Oof. Well, I mean, they're at least uh, new targets to chuck at the pool. Uh huh. Uh, now, I could go over here, but I don't see much point in so doing. Yeah, no. Makes more sense to go here. Grab him, hide here, and then throw him at the pool. That I feels like that's a very bad idea, but... Um, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Don't worry, you'll probably not create another mega boss. 
Well, you understand my concern. <laughs> Secret boss time. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying! Hmm. Yeah, might as well. That, and then... Huh. I mean, okay. Healing him's not great, but I'm at least making really solid progress. Well, healing him is kind of good just because it... It uses up the health of the pool. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. See, so just checking my ranges. No. So real. So again, what's his movements at? Okay. If I hide over here, I can at least keep him out of range of. Um, uh, I can at least keep him out of range of um, uh, the uppercut. Uh -huh. So, what's. So, the move I was talking about involves the pool taking damage for Rabbit Kong. I suppose if I. Um, Hmm. Well, then the question would be, what would do the most amount of damage to Rabbit Con? Ah. Uh, I suppose that'd have to be the, uh, that'd have to be throwing a TNT barrel at him. Throw a TNT barrel at him to knock him into the pool, and then the pool has to recover both, except I'm pretty sure he can't be pushed around. I could have hit them both on turn one. Ah, well. That is really neat interaction, though. Uh, again, I totally missed that the pool was draining its own health to heal uh, Rabbit Con. Um, mm -hmm. That's that is a really neat mechanic. Um, mm -hmm. right. Actually, before I move uh, Rabbit Cranky. Slide tackle you. Go through here to increase my movement range. How does that even work? Go through here. Jump off of you. Um. Oh, I know. Uh. Right. What's your movement again? Yeah, right, uh, that's fine. Probably want to put her behind cover. Uh, but I also want to put her in range of... So maybe... Therish. Yeah, I, I'm thinking cover doesn't really matter on the ground level. Or this half cover really isn't going to be super consequential. Okay. Yeah. So what is... Yeah, that works. You must complete your adventure! Oh, hey, thanks for the thank continued you. sub, uh, uh, Lucas. Yeah, thank you. Did Donkey you? Kong game and DK December insane. Anyway, how, how are you doing? <laughs> well, that's actually why we decided to play this. Um, it was... Secretly. Uh, we were building up to something. Secretly overall. foreshadowing. Uh, can I get a good angle on both of these guys? And thanks for the follow, Psychic Paranoia. Yes, thank you. I keep forgetting your movement. Okay, so that would put me in range for an uppercut, which is not. especially not ideal for um, him. Damn. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> You're the only Twitch people I watch, so you deserve this sub. And damn, that's some foreshadowing. Like, whoa. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, actually, before I do anything... Okay, heal will hit everyone, so let's do that to begin with. Makes sense. Good. Okay, I'm thinking I don't really need to worry... I want to slide tackle you. Uh, I'm going to bounce off of you, and I'm going to go over here. That'll keep uh, Rabid Cranky out of uppercut range, and I don't. I'm not too worried about that Smasher because I can just uh, ding him with um, Rabid Peach. Yeah, it's not really good to be right next to Smashers anyway. <laughs> All the designing for videos I've watched so far are really entertaining. I will note I don't like the classic DK series, C series, sadly. Uh, Wrong opinion, but I will respect it. Um, it took me a while to come around on DKC2, I'll say. Like, it, like it's a masterpiece, but it, it kind of took me uh, a while to go from, well, I respect this for what it is, to... Oh, no, it is good. Uh-huh. Do I just... Yeah, I just... I grew up with Returns. Yeah, actually, Returns just was... just makes me feel old. Ah, uh, you're gonna get that, though. Uh, returns I is, know. uh... uh 12 years old now, so fair. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, Returns is a good game, too. I'm not knocking it. No, it's wrong. I respect DKC a lot. It's like Crash. I enjoy it from a distance. I love Returns. Grew up with it. And I really want to play Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze is my favorite. Um... So, uh, that's highly recommended for me. I think I'm the only one of the the three of us, you, me, and uh, Pierre, who likes Tropical Freeze best. But. Yeah. I, I like Tropical Freeze a lot. I think it has some problems. Um, like, its minigames are kind of lame. Some, kinda of, close. some levels are... Oh. better than others like i really like worlds two three and six um and the other worlds have problems mm -hmm. um and um so some of the movement feels a little um not quite right uh, with the level design but tropical freeze is still really good Alright, problems are starting to mount up for me here. Well, what can I do? Can, ah, damn, I can't grab that. Crap, they're in range and everything. How is it? No, I don't get enough movement on that. Okay, so at least if I pull this, I can lob that at the... Oh. Uh, the only trick of it is that I really need to get Rabbit Peach out of there. Uh. Um... I, I would say that Tropical Freeze is maybe better if you're really into doing things quickly and speedrunning things. I, I think it's more built for that, probably. Um, but I appreciate the more uh, secret-focused design of the Classic series more, and I think it has better rewards with the minigames and stuff. 
Most, mostly I really like Tropical Freeze as a, um, uh, as a, uh, well, I like it first and foremost as a uh, spectacle piece, which I know, yeah. um, I don't know if, uh, uh, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. All right, so DK is going to take some fire. That's fine. This is fine. Pfft. What the hell even? Uh, Tropical Freeze does suffer in repeat playthroughs because of secret exits. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Alright, Rabbit Peach needs to get the hell out of there, but first she needs to slide tackle two guys. Do I really want to hide up there? I don't think I do. Well, where else are you gonna hide? Up here? I guess that could heal DK also. Although I really don't want to put her next to that barrel, so... Oh, why not? Because well, if it explodes, it will very myrtleize her. Yeah. Can Rabbit Kong blow it up, though? I'd imagine he could with his bad banana rang. Yeah, I guess so. Unless I had, like, left Rabbit Cranky down there as bait, which I also don't want to do. Uh, this I might have to do it like this. Wow, slide tackles do a lot. Because you upgraded it. Even through weakness, that does some decent damage. Uh, not bad. Heh. I could bring them all up here. No, don't. Which, because... Yeah, that's just, that's just a bad life choice. But I could. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I move him here. Can you slide tackle anyone? Sadly, no. no they're just out of range. Right, I think I want to move Rabbit Cranky up here. He's going to take some uh, cover fire, but that's okay. Or he's going to take some fire from uh, from that Ziggy, but that's fine. So I think I go here, and then I basically just have to take a pot shot at the pool. Yep. Fire's not great. Um, instead of the pool, though, I would actually hit Rabbit Kong because it does bonus to bosses. Yeah. And you hit that Ziggy, and um, the pool will heal the amount of damage you took. So if you do bonus damage, then that's more damage overall. That is a very good point. So, let's see. Does... I like, unfortunately, there the is a best way to play Tropical Freeze, which I cannot say the same for DKC2. Yeah, that that's the thing. Right, I think I want to do it like this. Um, and then I can hit uh, Long Story to Sleep the Smasher. Okay. Pool drains a little bit of health to heal Rabbit Kong. Like, it's ideal to play it doing all the levels, but not getting all the puzzle pieces. Yep. It, it, the puzzle pieces... Uh, like, the bo the items in the Classic series are just done so much better than the puzzle pieces are in Returns or Tropical Freeze. And that's a big part of the level design for me. 
So I'm going. I finding the DK coins and finding the bonus coins means it's really fundamental to the enjoyment I get out of those games. Um, so I ultimately do prefer them, even though I still do really like Returns and Tropical Freeze and respect what they're doing for. I just think that the puzzle pieces and the um, and the mini mini games end up being definitely an afterthought. Oh, that could have been very disastrous. Even now, I'm not convinced that it won't be bad in some way. Oh, nope, it's bad. Okay, yeah, so that's... So, no perfect for me, but that's okay. You might want to do getting those perfects off stream. I think you have to get them for the bonus levels, but... Yeah, that's fair. Oh, jeez Louise, she's still kicking. Oh. Okay, she has six self left. I think. Good grief. Okay. How the hell am I going to not... Well, you want to throw the TNT barrel, definitely. I think I bring DK over here. I don't think I can hit... Well, let's see. So if I throw... might be able to hit that smasher, I can only and the pool. Can I? It won't let me target empty space, unfortunately. Oh, it doesn't. Oh wait, okay. no, no, yeah, wait, it does. yeah, I can. Is that it? Oh, cool. Well, I mean, this isn't cool. <laughs> we all died. Cool. And that's the end. And that's how our journey ended. Pretty anticlimactic. And everyone died. The end. <laughs> well, managed to somehow eke out a perfect there. We'll take that. Yeah. Very nearly lost for Avid Peach. Jesus, we six hit points. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Great. The temple collapsed, plunging us headlong into the caverns underneath. You don't think there are mole people living down here, do you? Or centipedes? Centipedes give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> as long as you barely scrape your way over the finish line, it's fine. You'll lift. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Alas, even the pale moonlight barely penetrates the gloom down here. I'm losing my sense of sight. Language is all but lost. I'm forgetting what things on the surface look like. Help! Rabbit Peach must be losing her mind. Rabbit Peach, where are... <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit Peach, how can you moon bathe at a time like this? You should be panicking blindly like me. <clears throat> you know there's no phone service this far down, right? Alright, that, that was actually kind of a neat little um, pan there. Enough! We've got to get a grip! Rabbit Kong is still out there controlling the banana market with an iron fist. <laughs> we need to carefully find a way out. This is a dungeon after all. There's bound to be traps and spooky dungeon stuff. Uh, 
Uh, yep. Uh, I'll hold off for now, actually, until we're right next to the next whatever. Alright, stuff to get, stuff to get. I got a lot of stuff to get, actually. Let's think this through. Push you. Go back here for some pretty cool bananas. And I push. And I push more. Easy. Get that thingy. Dried on the vine. Nice, nice. I can't hit that, so that's not... Well, whatever. Let's see. Well... Oh, it does nothing. Where do you go? Wait. Nope. Nope. Wait. Bad. Bad. Oh, I can just... Oh, okay. Well, that's that's all right, I suppose. Wait, is there something to see? Yes, there is. The chassis to the washing machine. Glad we found it, but it's too heavy to move. Anyhow, there's no time to bother with it now. Rabbit Kong is on the loose. Chassis is an interesting noun to apply to a washing machine. Technically accurate, I guess. It's a 150cc washing machine. <laughs> I mean, considering how the rabbits use it, it's not too far off. Let's see. So that's going to be progress. Uh, let's solve puzzles. I, I really like uh, the mood when it gets into the final area of the Donkey Kong Adventure. It's like this nighttime temple area, and it gets spooky. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging that. Over here, over here. And let's do this thing. Goal. Of course, I gotta do two to get to that guy, but that's okay. It's the final act tone shift. Yeah, and I like it more than a lot of... Like, if they were just being generic, then you would go inside of a volcano on the island. <laughs> and I think this. I think this is a lot more clever way to do it. It's a little understated, and I like that. Y yeah. I mean, ruined temple that just exploded on us, so for a certain definition of understated, but you get what I'm driving at. Yeah. Let's see, is that gonna stay down? No, it won't. Go. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, game. Thank you. Uh. Deal with that. Deal with that. Well, actually, I do need to go up there first, so... Off! Let's see... Up there... Up there... Up there... Pleasantly understated final areas are always the best one. I kind of agree with that, yeah. <laughs> too, too often do final areas try to be big and bold and I get why but there's something to be said about understated ones for sure as well I mean you do run the risk of it feeling like a letdown if you don't do that correctly but you you can oh. Almost paradoxically, you can still have, like, a grand energy and still have it be understated. 
like this still feels like a grand area it's just like there's a little bit of quietness to it at the same time yes Fan game I played managed to pull it off very well. I was really shocked. What game? I'm always looking for good fan games. I am not one to um, poo poo on a good fan game because I've played some great ones in my day. Mm -hmm. Lisa the Pointless. I, I know that there's a lot of great Lisa games, so. Um, I haven't really dug into any besides the official ones, but yeah, I have heard that a lot of them are really good. I still, I still need to uh, take the plunge myself on um, uh, the first Lisa. Well, the 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 Lisa. There's the main game that most people know is Lisa the Painful, <laughs> which is technically not the first Lisa game. So fair. Well, case case in point, I need to take a plunge on any. Yeah. Oh, I see. I I, I, I do think that the it, so you can't get yourself trapped here. I do think that the original Lisa game has its merits too, but it's, uh, it's definitely a more niche experience because it's probably the, uh, one of the more uncomfortable games I've played. Sure. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Well. Lisa the First is a Yume Nikki clone, which I suggest skipping if you want a better time with Painful in terms of story. Oh, fair Maybe, enough. Maybe, um, I like it better than Yum Yume Nikki because I feel like the plot is a lot more structured than in than Yume Nikki is. Um, I I could understand the argument of wanting to skip it. Um. I played Lisa the Painful first, but, uh, yeah, I, I could see it either way. Spooky. Alright, so that'll be the start, so let's take the opportunity to, uh, buff up. Wow, lots of skill points. Okay. What needs doing? Oh, Feral Attraction, of course. I mean, have I learned my lesson, or...? say no I have not sure okay huh can't quite afford both of those That's... Uh -huh. uh, let's say four for now I don't really need four. We'll buff that, we'll do this, and then we'll save our points so that I can get the four. 
Mm-hmm. And for you, what do I want? I mean, more stink eye is always good. M more effective stink eye is good. I should get extra health. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, actually, let's do both of these. There we go. For weapons, we've got some new weapons. The Scarab stands for Sophisticated Cybernetic Aerial Robotic Armed Bonanarang, the result of decades of research by rabid scientists. My Scarab. Oh, they're all sciencey. The Mirabelle. Caution! The mid-infrared radiated autonomous banana-based enhanced laser uh, light exterminator, or Mirabelle, is highly experimental. Okay. The Hopper Stopper 2. Rabbit scientists have been hard at work to improve on the original formula. Good thing they got that grant. <laughs> Wait, did they set that up ahead of time? Nah. And then uh, the Summoner Scrambler 2. The only summoning they'll want to do after this attack is for a neurologist and a chiropractor. <laughs> okay. Yacht Rock Rover. Sail away on an ocean of smooth grooves, the backing vocals to your opponent's dulcet demise. The Trophy Fish Terror. Hey, on guard! Yeah, you made it. Relax. That made me really happy because On Guard's been MIA for so long. <laughs> I, I'm glad all of the uh, animal buddies are getting love. Mm -hmm. Relax. On Guard is safe and sound. And a half ton of pickled mackerel richer thanks to the licensing, licensing deal that brought us this deployable. <laughs> yeah, I might have to get that. The Suffer Puffer. Time to suck it up. Oblivious enemies are about to get an unpalatable serving of spike-saturated suffering from this bloated blaster. And the Smackin' Crackin'. Time to get crackin' with this legendary beast of a blaster that strikes fear in the hearts of your foes and 18th century fishermen alike. Let's see. The Line Dry Liquidator. Baddies blemishing the battlefield, simply soak them in buttermilk, rinse with hot water, then let loose with this cataclysmic clothesline. And the Lawn Ornament Agony. Flamingos perform up to 136 dance moves to, to attract a mate, as opposed to rabbits who only know the traditional Japanese parasol dance. What? Pandemonium. The panda was modeled... The panda this was modeled after is named Ling Ling, who served as finance minister on the island until Bamboo Gate forced her out of office. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. The Harm Burger. Loaded with four pounds of meat, bacon, mayo, special sauce, and cheese. If the explosion doesn't get them, the cholesterol will. Is it bad for me to choose my uh, um, weapon choices based on descriptions here? <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of bananas. Um, uh, okay, what's important for me to upgrade? Um... I should probably upgrade the blaster. I will give you a fair warning regarding the weapons. Getting all the puzzle pieces grants you three new primary weapons you can buy. Hmm. If that I can buy, so... Well, 
How many puzzle pieces do I have? Uh, 11. It, are they seriously going to stuff nine puzzle pieces into this last uh, chapter? You might have missed some. Eh, but poop. I, I don't remember. I missed quite a few. Darn. I'll have to loop back around for those. Alright, well for the I think for the time being it is useful for me to <sighs> what needs upgrading. Well, you gotta get Anguard. Yeah, okay. Maybe something for DK since Cranky has the gold barrel. What is he currently punishing? Bucklers? Actually, we're about to face Bucklers, so I want to hold on to that. Uh, was, well, that damages Bucklers, too. Basically, eh, yeah, I think I want to do the Mirabelle. I'm less, um, Ziggies are, when I'm focusing on them, are less of a hassle. It does also have the worst effect, though. True. Well, it, I mean, it's an RNG, uh, it's RNG for practicality, because, um, if enemies run into each other, that's... Uh, that's that can be pretty useful, but I also it's also harder to plan around. Also, they can run into you. True, but I deal. But I I can also that's easier to uh, work around. Yeah. I don't know. I like I generally like being able to form plans around items. Sure. Psychic Paranoia usually goes with Bounce, uh, because I love that effect. Uh. I think... I think I am gonna stick with the Mirabelle. At the very least, All I've right. got Bounce as an option on the Ground Pound. Okay. Wait. So these reptilian hands. Is this a dragon? Egad! Beware the invulnerable idol of recoil. In its unforgiving eyes, we are but unworthy interlopers. My As roast is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> it has a strong connection to its worshippers. They are the source of its power. If we defeat its worshippers, the idol of recoil will accept us as worthy and not bother us. They're big on rituals, these idols. Alright, so... Okay, so they're ranged. Uh, or they're um, AoE. They're not uh, turret. It's not a turret. Let's see. Lots of bucklers. And ziggies. Heh. Uh, I 
can't do it like you can in Fire Emblem and just highlight a bunch of dudes and cover the whole map. <laughs> Fair, but... Okay, so also poison blocks, those are always nice. Oh yeah, quite a lot of them too. Alright, so... I am going to want to try and draw as many of these suckers over to me as I can. Uh, it's quite good that I uh, uh, just uh, lowered the recharge on... Did I just lower the recharge of Bandit Groove, or am I complimenting myself for something I pointedly didn't do? Yeesh. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, gonna want to plow through these guys. I uh, really want to draw bucklers towards DK and then ground pound them. Uh, bucklers, uh, there are four. Everyone else is a Ziggy. Okay. Basically just work our way through this Bomberman setup. Also, I appreciate how there are no multi-fight levels like there are in the main game. Oh, yeah, each, uh, each, um, level here has just been, uh, one fight. Mm-hmm. Can I pick them up? Yes, I can. Nice and streamlined. Is that gel? I, I think that that... I appreciate that a lot more because um, it makes the uh, yeah. them able to plan around that specific challenge a lot better instead of having to plan around well maybe you have this much health left or this much health left also I love this song <laughs> So DK is absolutely in range, which is not great. How much can you ruin my day? Eh, not too much, but it will bounce. All right, so with DK, I'm going to want to magnet groove. I can actually hit a decent amount of them. Uh, do I do that right away? Yeah, I think I do. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Ah, I could have gotten a little closer and gotten that guy in. Uh, there is no... They don't chase, right? No. No, they don't. Okay. Alright, yeah, we'll do this. Bye. <laughs> Alright, and that's uh, almost half of them. Rock solid turn one. Okay. So with you, I want to go... She's hiding the gel? Okay. You could uh, go in that corner and then send out Anguard. But right here? No, not there. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, I like that. Or can I? Yeah, no, that's my best bet. Okay. Yeah, 
And now we're over half. Hmm. Okay, so for you... Okay, I can at least get some uh, decent range on that. Um, best bet. You want cover from that turret. Yeah, okay. Oh, freeze, nice. So that's not going to do anything, but that is going to do quite a bit. Ah, oh, but that's going to hit me too. And... Still worth it, I think. Yeah, okay. I don't love that. Uh... Well, he's not gonna... S I can't imagine he'll be able to see anything through the ink. Uh, so, we'll... S is it... Does it matter using Stink Eye here? I don't actually know. I think just, um... I think Long Story is more useful just to uh, put him to sleep, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think even with him walking uh, up to me, the buckler is... Uh, would, uh, or the shield would block, um, attacks yeah. from, from that angle, so we'll, we'll stick with long story. Let's see, she's not even in range, so... Yeah, I think we just stick with this. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, right. Don't do it. You're gonna regret it. Don't do it. I told you, man. Alright, well, if I can wrap this up... At least got ink sorted. If I can wrap this up in one turn, um, I don't have to worry about the dumb idol, so... Alright, I pick you up. I'm going to... Ah, oh, ground pound is in range, so that's fine. Oh, but I can't use ground You pound. can't ground pound. Darn. Uh... You can throw him into the vamp block if you want. The, wait, is that what these are? Or the, the poison blocks? The poison block is the vamp block. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, but if I do that... Wait. That's a lot of health, but that's not all of the health. Ah, uh, darn. Oh, but if I throw him... Well, he bounces, though. And... What are my... Uh, oh! I grab you. And... I go here. And... No, that's actually worse. Yeah, don't do that. Um, if you put up your um, your trigger shot um, y you can probably kill him on his turn yeah okay I'm lucky that didn't freeze Darn. 
when I said that, I thought you were going to throw him at the vamp block, but... Oh. Yep. I'll still activate that. Might as well. Uh, okay. So, Slide Tackle does decent damage. So, I really want to get her... Alright, wait, now wait a sec here. Okay, so then he would be able to bounce decent ways, and I could pro I could probably ding both of them. So that's something. Okay. Uh, the trick is just being uh being able to take this guy out completely, and I I could do that if I were there. I can't do that if I'm over here. Ah, fiddle dee futz. So, her, I'll have to put up a shield. Okay. Okay. Since that. I don't even know if this. Is... Yeah, I didn't. wasn't sure if that would even hit him. Slide tackle. Jump off of you. Go. Ah, that's gonna tag DK though. That's fine. You kinda have to do that. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, man. I could heal both of them. No, I definitely want to. Well, I mean, I, she can take a hit. Yeah. Yeah, let's heal. And I know this won't do much, but I lose nothing from trying. Yeah, okay. You lose your dignity. Eh. I mean, okay. Jerk. Okay. I'll just toss one guy at the other guy. Double slide tackle works too. Rabbit Peach don't care. Yeah, what now, Idol? What you want? Come on. Three turn perfect. Three turn perfect. Damn. Too slow. I'll have to do that on my own.
or bad. A reenactment of uh, Bwagat Bwagata Hana's, uh, Manu's, sacrifice of his unemployed brother-in-law who was living with him at the time. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He claimed that the banana gods told him to do it, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> Might be one of the more violent uh, throwaway encounters in a Mario game. <laughs> Let's not make a mistake here. Um, go to the far back one. I made a mistake here. Okay. No, you didn't. You push that, and I'll push one of them left. The oh, oh, that is a path. Uh, wait, no, no, that's not. No, that was not what I meant. Well, actually, that works just fine. There, there. Yeah, that works and... too. And nope. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Um, push that in the corner. Oh, I see. Okay. Go. Uh, go. No, no, oh, no. Heck. Okay. Um, go to the one by itself. Push. Now push that. Okay. Now push it left. Um. Here? Left. Yes. Okay. Now push it forward. Okay. Okay. Um. Now you turn the camera. Here? No. Other way. Oh. Here. Okay. Um. You you want to get one, yeah. So push the one in front, um, to the left. All right. So I got that there. Now push it down. Down here. Oh, I see. Okay. So then I can do that and that and there. No, no, no. Okay. flaws whatsoever with this. Alright, I see some flaws. Cool. Dungeon Dispute. Uh, that's progress. And that's a jiggy. Nice.
Oh, lots here. Okay, so... Order vibrations. You can hit the put it on the red switch. Oh, I see. Like that and that, and then I go over here. Like that. A. Hey, yep. Back. just need to... darn I played myself okay so red star cool and then cloud that gets me this some more trickery to do here. Let's see. Do that. And then I need to get you over there. Oh, which is pretty easy. Do that. And then that and that and that. There we go. And nope, there we don't. Darn. Oh, but that's an easy fix. So you go there, and wait a sec. Hmm. Monkey. Well, so let's reverse engineer this. So the very last thing I do needs to be that I push this on the moon. Uh, which means that the second to last thing I need to do is come over here. And I can't come over here. Well, I can come over here if there's a block on the sun. Now, logistically, it wouldn't work for me to use this pipe, so I have to be able to use this pipe. Which is a darned unfortunate thing, because I need that pipe to be darn. Down. Darn. Hmm. Oh, but it shouldn't matter. Both of those can be covered. That's fine, because then I can just use that route. So... It's just a matter of... Alright, so I have to move that there for now. It'll let me go back here. I need to uncover you briefly. Over here. Yep. There. That opens this passage here. Now I can cover both of these chuckleheads. Go here. And there we go. 
You did it. Sneaky. Alright, not bad. Okay. What are we dealing with here? Looks like hoppers. Oh. Well, then. Ah! Fire burpers! At the end of our turn, they'll shoot flames from their mouths. Not all of them, however. If you watch carefully, you should be able to tell which ones are about to belch fire. Let's see, so this one is going to... I'm going to have to wait for enemies to spawn in. Let's see... Okay, so pretty obvious which ones are going to uh, spew flames. Um, uh huh. So that one is, that one isn't. Ranges are that and that. Does it does it cover the full screen? Nah. I think that's clearance, so that's absolutely clearance. Okay. Anyway, uh, got some hoppers, a summoner, and two smashers. Uh, these push blocks are going to be of a lot of use. Um, this first time around, I'm going to want to not advance too much. Uh, just lay down some AoE. Should try bringing guys to me if I can, but not on the first turn. Let's see. Well, no, I am going to want to get a bit closer, but um, DK is going to be the first I want to move, so we'll start with that. This map is crazy. Yeah, this is one of the first ones that gets pretty difficult. Yeah, this is uh, definitely pretty involved. I guess we start with this. Um, what, I can tag him from there? Wow, okay. Oh, but that's absolutely going to destroy that. Yeah, okay. Let's just lure those guys over. Oh. This is absolutely going to light me on fire, but whatever. actually didn't well so, um, okay yeah we take those <laughs> might as well 
else I tackled the stamp. That should keep me out of the blast radius, so... Yeah, we'll go there. Not bad. Let's see... Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll set up Stink Eye shortly. I do that. If I bounce there, I'll be fine. Let's see. Okay. What, seriously? Yeah, I want that. <laughs> ah, no, I think I want to save Stink Eye. Why? Uh might be useful when enemies respawn. Um, Why would it be more useful than now? Let's see. Eh, you're right, it probably won't. Um, ah, darn, I was hoping one of those guys would get uh, fried, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. I should wait on and yeah that'll do hmm. didn't quite eyeball the range correctly on that oh no darn Okay, if I defeat... Remember, DK can pull one of those guys up. Yeah, that's gonna have to be my play. Um... Okay, so it's those two, so I app and that one. One, two, three. So, as long as I'm on this side of blocks, I'll be fine. So, DK grabs this guy. That shouldn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Actually. Hopper, hopper, smasher, smasher. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather this guy. Is that safe? Uh, no, that's not safe. But uh, neither of those are safe. None of me is safe in here. But that's fine. Help. Yeah, that's safe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, brother. Um, if you trigger um, Harry Eye, then you can hit them all and then hit them all again. Oh, because good. they'll charge towards you. Good call. Um, you might want to hit them with Peach first, though, just to be sure. Yeah, okay. So, one. 
two, three, then there. can at least yeah okay so parry I Mirabelle hmm. uh oh wait that might be okay It could have been very bad, though, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of the fire effect. <laughs> no, that's fair. Actually, right in the middle here is fine. Right there is not. Right there is fine. Well, no, that's fine, too, because it's uh, uncharred. Mostly this is just a question of where I want Rapid Cranky for uh, next round. Probably next to the other people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Average burning fans versus average balance and chores. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, fair. Okay. This is fine. Uh, and we'll just end... H oh, have you played nice. that the extra mission in World 4 with the meteors that ha that's like so RNG and relies so heavily on the burning effect? I hate that mission. It's the worst mission in the game by far. It has Bowser Jr. in it. Mm, don't like that. Not fond of that. Nice. All right. Imagine if they inflicted burning when they landed, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. So now I want to go to the opposite side. Uh, if I grab that, I can throw... I can wing that. Oh, wait, no, I want to grab that man. So I go here. I wing him at whom? Maybe that guy. Yeah, that's fine. Why well, you gotta do me dirty like this, DK? Nice, <laughs> clerical. Okay. No, no, no. Jeez Louise. Do you just want to give up like a wee baby? <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Okay. 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 Um. How do? No. Friggin' jeez. Okay. Slide tackle. Sproing. Uh, that's fine. Asterisk. Well, yeah. The only thing is that um, is that you might get burnt. No, but, I, w I won't. I wouldn't get burnt this that 
on this square. Okay. You don't have to worry about the block pushing you back because you'll hit it with grump shot. Yeah, okay. Grump shot, it's super nice. Yes, it is. Oh. Very much so. I mean, that'll still hit me. You could go into that one space right next to him and just kill him. And just nothing personnel him? Yeah. Yeah. He's okay. about ready to die. the more important heal. Uh, do I want to save it? Probably not, just because he has vamp on it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Right. Alright, who do I like less? Oh. No, that seems... You could. It wouldn't really hurt anything. You're going to kill them all on your next turn, anyway. Yeah, okay. Oh. Doesn't really matter what you hit. Yeah, okay. Haha. -ha. It actually did matter. I think the other guy w was in range too. But oh, meh. I could be wrong. Oh, just one blaster. That's not bad. Don't do it, don't do it, you're gonna regret it, don't do it. Ah, oh, he did it. I think he liked it too. Just need three more KOs. I might be able to swing that yet here. So. I definitely want to focus on dudes who are uh, currently out here. Go here. Is there any way you could pick up that guy, throw him at the other guy, and have them be close enough that you can use your ground pound hmm 
So, like that. That. Wait, it won't let me? Oh, no, it won't let me stand there. Uh, if I go here... You can't pick him up? Hmm? I'm picking this guy up. Oh. Unless... I would just pick the guy who's already out. Unless the guy underground has less health. They're the same guy. Okay. Which enemy is the ears that's a summoner? Yep. So, so that doesn't... that much doesn't really matter. Um... But enemies have less HP. Uh, the um, hoppers do, so I'll want to throw uh, the summoner at the hopper. Okay, yeah, so snag him and go here. Well. If I go here, that'll put me in range for a uh, ground pound. Uh huh. For at least one of them. So I'll take you. Go here. Oh, nice. Wow, nice. Okay. Before I do that, switch to you. Slide tackle to destroy the shield. Bounce off DK, and go there-ish to tag. Bunch Get a little further. Oh yeah. Just, just so you stay out of range of DK. Just to be sure. Ah, there's no way for me to stay out of range of the ground pound. Okay, don't worry about it then. That's all I need. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad, yeah. These, um... They play a lot with, uh... The structure of these levels later on now, too. With a lot more, um obstacles that aren't just the enemies themselves which I really appreciate yeah the environmental uh, uh, puzzles are really neat uh, so to speak yeah the fire belchers and then the the uh, recoil thing from the first one mm -hmm. that map is absolutely crazy <laughs> yes yes Rabbit Kong found a tiny garden snake while planting some hydrangeas. The artist blew it out of proportion to stroke his ego. Oh! Heh. Okay. But... you're something. So, that's one jiggy. How about we do the puzzles and then call it for tonight? Sounds good to me. Well, they really are throwing a bunch of puzzle pieces at me, but I'll, uh... uh yeah, you, you okay. might not have missed as many as you thought, but you probably did miss a few. Yeah, I'll loop back, uh, as time permitting, just to check. Oh. 
This poor fellow is besieged by telemarketers demanding that he invest in banana futures. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Ring, 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 banana phone. Rabbit Kong's banana hoarding has caused a lot of volatility in the market. If I were a rabbit, I'd take the short position. Okay, little little bit of puzzle in here. I, I can't believe DK is short sell is short selling the market and by having a banana hoard. <laughs> Okay, how do? Well, so I can at least very easily set this one up. But. Buying up all the bananas so he can scalp them at exorbitantly high prices. <laughs> no, wait, we're already in trouble. Ah, no, we're fine. I just like pushing sometimes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. That's kind of a... Yeah, you can't push that block. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Our monkey's bourgeoisie. <laughs> Nah, they're Bonaboletariat. Okay. <laughs> I really had to work for that one. <laughs> uh, bourgeoisie, but it's spelled with a Z E E at the end. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's fine because then I can move this guy around and do some. Yeah, no, this is fine. Now you want to, yeah, push that one against the other block. There we go. Got there. Just making sure I'm not missing nothing. A dartboard? Maybe it's like a sundial. Me. Wait. Aha! There is a note, or a note, jeez Louise. Uh, a puzzle piece over there. Oh yeah. Sneaky. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get up to those upper platforms there. Oh, it's just right there. Okay, well. I figured out the puzzle, you guys. It is easy to overlook, though. Alright. Hey, hello. Oh, no, this is a whole new puzzle.
Okay, so multi-phase puzzle here. Let's see, what do I even get started on? Oh, push oh, that in the corner. Yeah, that's over here. Tippity tappity. So if I push this down there, I can just um, rude. Man, okay. Also, before I do that, I move you over here. Really just need to get that out of the way. Okay, so not... Yeah, no, that's, that's as expected. Um, there. And... Oh, let's uh, see. push that. That there? Yeah. Yeah. There, there, and there, and there. Now, of course. Oh, but the important thing is that I move these over, so that's that's fine. I did it again. That's fine. And that's just so you don't accidentally mess up. I appreciate that. So, I know I have to hide you. Um, let's do a little alley-oop. Yeah, it won't. It probably won't let me do that. Tag you. basically just work this through the cycle. No, wait, we're in trouble. These puzzles are always about, like, getting a wall with one block and then using that to get the other block in in, yeah. in place. Yeah. So so I'm going to need if I do that. What does that do for me? So 
So that's a thing. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now I can push the button. Uh, I don't want to, <laughs> but it's an option I have. Okay, so... It's not useful for me to have that there. Accepting that I then go there. There. Okay, wait. Don't push that. Get the other one uh, on the other side of that. So, moon should go here? Yeah. Okay, how would I do that? Um, so, I could only push it from there, from there, and then there, and then there. Just tried pushing the blue around everywhere. at it the other way around. If I can get two lined up here, then I could more easily lever my way around there. I could get that and then that. So this I push there. to be able to get it there, but, um... So, now that I've done that... I don't think that actually does anything for me. Yeah, so push them there. Um, can you get the green on the other side of that blue? No. So... Push the blue back. It's always something where you have to get the block pushed up against the other block. So I'm, there's no way to get on the right side of that block. Mm, I could if I came from here. Well, I would have to come from either there or there. This requires that I be there, which requires that I be where blue is, basically. Da -da. Uh, da, da, da. Alternatively, go there, from here, from there, from there. I need to be in this column. Okay. Hmm. Try pushing the green one. Um, cross. And now push it again. 
And can you get the blue one on that side of the green one? You mean here? No. Here? Yes. What would that require? That had to come from either there or from there. And that requires being here. Which I don't believe I can. I could push. So I push that there, which goes there, there. Wait, I know. Um. Stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um. I think. Let's see. Okay, you can push the blue one to the left. And then up. Oh, but you can't push it right from there. Yeah, that's the only issue. Okay, let's reset positions here a little bit. Boy, that was great fun resetting positions there a little <laughs> bit. Yep, I sure am resetting positions here just a little bit. It's definitely something about um, getting them in a spot that isn't one of the corners. So whenever a block isn't stuck in a corner is a spot you should potentially be paying attention to. Yeah, there. That's a great spot. Mm -hmm. um, don't move the green one. It's a very unique spot for a green one. Yeah, actually, this is it. So yeah. now I move that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and there we go. Yeah, there you go. Whew, got there, folks. Good, good, good. Uh, was that all we were sent here to accomplish? Yeah, I guess yep. so. All right. Um, do next it. time, next time it'll look. It looks like we'll probably beat the main campaign, but there'll still be the bonus levels after that. So, um, I, don't want to do that yet. I would think probably maybe three more sessions or two. Alrighty. Alright, well, excellent. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. We hope you all had fun, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, catch you next time. Bye-bye.